All right, welcome everybody to another session, um, Forex Bootcamp Training. And in today's session, I'm going to go over a quick strategy to help you guys out. Um, it's called my uh, breakout strategy. And inside the breakout strategy, if you're patient enough to wait, there's some great things that can happen, especially when you're looking at the charts. Okay, so the way to actually look at this, if you look at the chart that I have in front of you guys here now, through screen share. Can you see the chart? Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what I did, I put some boxes around some key areas of, of consolidation, okay? One of the great things about consolidations is this. There's going to be a breakout eventually, right? Whether it's going to be a breakout to the upside or a breakout to the downside. But one thing you'll notice is that if you're in an uptrend, right? Because if you look at this chart, you'll notice that it's in an uptrend, right? So if we were to squeeze this a little bit, you notice that if you took your um, trend line, right? And you started, let's say down here, you notice that we're in an uptrend, right? Because everything's above the um, the trend line, right? So in a in an uptrend, we can anticipate the market to continue to to um, go up, right? So in this breakout strategy, whenever there is a sideways type of consolidation, or it doesn't seem like it's going up, it doesn't seem like it's going down, it's just you know going up and up and up and down. So you could put like a box around this session right here and just be patient enough for a breakout, okay? So when you put the box around that sex session, you have to wait for a candle to break out of it and then come back and retest the box, okay? So I'll, I'll open this up to you guys. And you'll notice a couple of things here. And this is where your Bible, candlestick Bible um, studies will definitely benefit you because it's a couple of things that happen here that you should pay close attention to. Number one, you see this long green candle right here. This is the bullish engulfing candle because this candle is bigger than this candle, right? So you can anticipate an eventual upside trend to continue, right? But if you look at this right here, you know that this right here, okay, could have been a stop hunt, right? Because it came all the way down. Because everybody is thinking that this candle is going to continue to you know drive the market up. They could have got in, put their stop loss right below in this area. Then all of a sudden, this candle decides it, want, it wants to stop hunt everybody and take everybody out of the, the market before it continues its uptrend, right? So what happens is this candle right here, right, decided to retest the top of this, the top of this box, okay? And then once it came down and retested that top of the box, it decided within that hour, this is a one hour chart, by the way, within that hour, it decided to climb upward, okay? So yeah, you have to be patient because within this box, right? When you made this box, you notice that every candle was an hour long. So let's look, let's count the candles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24 hours, that's one day, right? Or so you have to wait a whole day. Then you have another one hour right here, right? And the second hour on the next day is when this candle decided to touch the box, right? And climb upward. Okay, so one hour and two, I mean, 24 hours, 
which is a day, and then two hours later, okay, on the second day, it decided to climb upward, okay? So yeah, you gotta pretty much try to watch it within that time frame, because you never ever wanna trade within this box, because you will get trapped, because this is a consolidation box, right? The market doesn't know what it wants to do, doesn't know what it, what it wants to go up or, or down, it's just trading sideways. But at one point, it gave you like a hint that it wants to go up right here. And then it gave you a stop hunt, right? And once it finished trying to push everybody out of the market, it gave you this bullish engulfing candle, okay? And now you're in the trade for one hour, right? And you're actually making some money during that one hour time frame, okay? Now you can get out of the trade right at the top of this candle, okay? Or you can stay in the trade because where would you put your stop hunt? Well, if you got in down here somewhere, you would put your stop hunt below that candle, right? Let's say within the box, let's say you put your stop hunt, let, I mean, your stop loss right there. Okay, so you could have put your stop loss right there and said, hey, if it reverses on me, I want out of the market. I'm protecting my principal. It's about money management, protecting your principal. That way you don't lose your entire account. And if you put your stop loss right here, it really never hit your stop loss. Okay, so therefore you can continue to try to ride this up because as you can see, right here, this candle right here was another retracement. It was like another stop hunt or another um, candle that's trying to push people out if they had put their stop losses a little bit closer or towards the middle of this candle. And then what happens in the next candle? Boom, it continues to climb. So you could have held this candle. You could have been in this trade for one, two, three, four hours, right? And be in, in profit because it really never hit your stop stop loss, okay? Now, let's say you you got out of the market, let's say at the top of this candle, and you're watching and still, right? Because you already know it's still an uptrend, right? So knowing this information, something else develops here. You see another consolidation. So you, you create another box in this area, right? And you just got to be patient again now, right? Being patient means you got to wait one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 hours. <laughs> 17 hours, okay? And then um, so that's Wednesday. January 28th, on this Wednesday, January the 18th, at like one o'clock in the morning, there's another, okay, breakout. Okay, there's another breakout. Okay, so we could um, anticipate another uptrend. Okay, all right. Now you see how there's a doji right in the middle there? There's a doji in there that's trying to fake everybody out because usually with dojis, it'll tell you it's a reversal candle that, hey, the market's going to go down because it's been pushing up. And then they present itself like a doji to try to fake people out. Okay. And some people will get scared and say, okay, let me get out of this market right here and wait for a reversal. But because of that fake out, look what happens. It continued to ride upward. So you could got it back into the market, rode it up a couple of more hours, made some more money. Okay. This is a retracement, this black candle. Okay. And then you continue to write it more higher, okay? Continue to write it higher. And then all of a sudden, it hit the top, it hit the peak, and now it's starting to reverse and go down. And then you create another box. But remember, um, in order for it to reverse, it's got to break structure. So if you look left, okay? If you look left, it never really broke structure. And look what it did. It continued to consolidate right and then you have another breakout right here look at that okay another breakout okay so it's important to know your candles it's important to understand understand structure and you have to understand the, um, that this is a breakout strategy okay do you guys understand what i've been sharing so far regarding this breakout strategy yes sir awesome awesome you think it'll be beneficial in your trading strategy most definitely, yes, sir. 
Okay. <laughs> all right. And this is all in the hourly. I mean, you can pretty much find out, find the, the um, this box or create this box in any time frame. Okay. So if you don't want to wait an hour and you just want to, let's say, wait 15 minutes, let's go turn it on a 15 minute. Okay. Because um, let's see what happens here. All right. Looks like my internet is frozen. Okay, here we go. Okay. So even in a 15 minute, you got to wait, right? A couple of 15 minutes. All right. A lot of these candles are 15 minutes. And then within those 15 minutes, there'll eventually be a breakout, but you just have to be patient enough to know that, hey, I'm in a session where it's consolidating. And every one of these consolidation areas will eventually have a breakout to the upside. Okay break out to the upside and you have to wait for the retest okay it'll break out of the box but come back and touch the top of the box and continue its journey upward that's why retesting is is something you got to be patient enough to wait for because if it never retests it'll go back into the box right and then hit the top of the box bounce off the top of the box and go down downward on a downward trend and then that therefore you have a break of structure and you have a reversal okay but if you're patient enough to wait for the retest and you see that it bounces off the top of the box you can go ahead and put a trade in okay put a trade in okay and you, you already know it's an uptrend put a trade in set your stop loss okay you can also set your take profit if you want okay the best way to set take profits is to look left and see where is a resistance level because you want it to go let's say this was a resistance level by looking left you would set your take profit at that resistance level knowing that if it hits that resistance level it'll take you out of the market with a profit okay because you got in down here and you put your stop loss below it and you put you take profit above it therefore you know what you just did, you just set it and forget it. You could walk away, okay, be about your business for the day, and then come back to see if it hits you take profit, okay? Never really adjusting or changing your, your, your stop loss or your take profit, okay? Because, you know, these, like I said, these are 15-minute candles. So there's a lot of 15-minute candles that you have to wait for before it hits your take profit, so you could be doing something else. You could be watching a movie. You could be driving to the store. You can go pick somebody up from wherever. <laughs> and um, you just monitor it. And then when it hits your take profits, congratulations, you just made some money. And then you just watch it again because if you're still in the uptrend, you can anticipate another consolidation, another sideways consolidation, and then you wait for another breakout. And another thing you can do is set your buy stops and buy limits. You could say, if okay, this is my box. I'm going to set a buy limit or buy stop above the box, right? So you can set it and forget it. And if it hits the buy limit and goes through it, it'll you'll be in the market, okay? And you can set your stop loss as well. And then you're, you're in the market again, okay? So it's like setting a trap, Setting traps. I love setting traps because if it goes inside the trap, you're in the market, and now you can write it up for another another um, pit stop towards the upside. Okay, so you want to you know try to set another take profit at the next resistance level because now it became support. So at the next resistance level, you just look left to see okay if it continues to go up, where would it stop, right? And to find that out. You have to look left. You always have to look left, okay, to see where the where the top is. Okay, so that's that's the strategy for today's session, is to, you know, create these breakout set boxes. Once you create these breakout boxes, and you know that there it's in consolidation, you just wait for the breakout. Okay, you know it's an uptrend. You wait for a breakout to the upside. And if it starts reversing the other the other way, you know, put another box and wait for a breakout for the downside. Okay, 
So this is the breakout strategy for today's session. Hopefully you guys learned a lot from this. You can back test it. It applies to any pair, any indice. You can use it on Bitcoin as well and uh, Ethereum and just watch it and just watch it. Just set those traps, come back to it and say, hey, you know, I'll set it and forget it and be profit within those time frames. Okay, so with that being said, do you guys have any questions or concerns? No, sir. Right. What you like like most about what you saw? Oh, that uh, set it and forget it, man. I like that because I need that for work. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I put in a trade and I'm working and I forget about it and oh, it just goes south, man. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. How many hours do you work? Who would you say? I I uh, during the week I work mm -hmm. forty. Eight okay. hours a day. Eight hours a day. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. So you could definitely focus on the um hourly chart. Okay. Oh. Or, or the four hour chart. Because you got two eight two, if you got an eight hour shift, four hours and four hours is eight hours. So you could look at the last two candles, right? And determine, okay, if you're in an uptrend, you gotta wait for the next four hours to develop. So you set your timer and you try to get in to the market in the next four hours you see what i'm saying yes sir okay yeah so if you let's look let's look at this if you're trying to get into the market and you know that you know it's an uptrend right and based on my breakout strategy okay you can still set your boxes right you already know it's an uptrend. So yes. everyone needs candles of four hours, right? So this candle was four hours, and then the very next candle was four hours. And this is the candle you want to get in, right? You write this up to the for four hours. The next candle is four hours. As you can see, it came down and it went back up. Okay, so you could have been in profit for eight hours. Does that oh, make wow. sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. Eight hours in profit right there. Okay, so now you, you 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 have a second person working for you <laughs> outside of yeah, the job yeah. because now your money is making money on top of you know your hourly wage, and then all of a sudden, depending on your lot size, you can make more money in those in those eight hours than you make on your job. <laughs> right, that's true. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, you could walk away with a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars, depending on your lot size. Yes. Or just match your hourly rate. If you're making twenty dollars an hour, right? Um, uh, you you could use that as a strategy. Say, hey, I'm gonna try to make twenty dollars every single hour by trading the hourly chart, or I'm gonna try to make forty dollars an hour trading the four hour chart. And if I could do that, I just doubled my salary. That's so true. Yeah, you're right on that. Right, and you know, treat it like a bank does. Because when you go to the bank, you make a deposit. What do they promise you? 0.1% interest. Thank you for right. your money. We'll give you some money at the end of the 30 days. But what do they do with your money? They trade it. They send it to the trading department. They say, hey, guys, we got a fresh deposit. Try to grow this $100 into $1,000. And what do they do? Those traders, they go into the market. They try to find opportunities based on their trading plan. Throw in that $100 to trade. They then flip it to, say, 300 Five hundred, a thousand dollars. Now the bank just made money, and at the end of thirty days, what do you get? One percent interest. <laughs> okay. So why not yeah. be the bank yourself and just trade your money? So going forward, I'm going to start telling everybody: try to open up a live account with the lowest minimum amount of money. Let's say ten bucks. If you can find a broker that allow you to open a, a trading account for ten, twenty, thirty bucks, fifty bucks, try to trade that money and flip it to a hundred dollars and then when you flip it let's say you, you started with 50 bucks and you flipped it to 100 okay take out that 50 dollars open up another account now you have two accounts that you're trading that each account has 50 dollars in it okay 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 now you try to flip both of those accounts to a hundred dollars so what happens is you now have two hundred dollars right 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 so now 
you take you take the fifty dollars out again, fifty, 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 fifty. Now you open up four accounts. Okay. Now you have four live accounts that you're going to try to flip to a hundred dollars. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then every one of those accounts, right? You designate it or give it a purpose. Account number one to pay my rent. Account number two to pay my light bill. Account number three to pay my car note. Account number four to pay my electricity. You see what I'm saying? Or yes, my food sir. bill. So every one of those accounts has a purpose, right? And when you get to the number that the account's supposed to get to, you withdraw it and then go pay your rent. Withdraw it, go pay your light bill. Withdraw it, go pay your car note. Withdraw it, go pay your car insurance. So now all of a sudden, your trading is paying your bills. I like it. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? And the money you make at work goes sit in your bank and stays in your bank. I like the idea. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, I mean, it's going to take time to grow each one of those accounts. But at the right. same time, if you start off with 10 bucks, 20 bucks, okay, you set your stop loss, you take profits. I mean, great things can happen because now you're in control of your money, not the banks, not your stockbroker, but you are. Okay. At any given time, that 50 bucks can grow into a thousand dollars, can grow to 2000, can grow to, and now you have more money to trade with. Okay. But along the way, you take out the amount of money you need to live on. That's a great idea. I, I like it. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 So going forward, definitely um, try that strategy. You know, keep we'll a journal, do. keep a journal and say, this is what I'm going to do. I know what my monthly expenses are. If my trading, if I can make enough profit to pay all my bills, <laughs> what would you do with your paycheck? <laughs> there you go. Yes, sir. You can oh, go man. traveling, you can go buy gifts, you can go buy Christmas presents way in advance, <laughs> new furniture, you know, new plates, whatever, whatever the case is. And that's what I'm going to try to do as well. So, all right. With that being said, do you have any questions? No, sir. Everything's right. good. Yes. All right. So I'm going to stop the recording. All right. Thanks for joining this session here, but let me stop the recording.